Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mark, and it is Monday afternoon. I know that because I just got back from a little vacation. April and I went away RVing for the weekend. Uh, it's a hard day. Everything was going really good. We uh, got packed up and got out of the campgrounds in perfect time. Got back here to the Bay Area. Good timing. Uh, only to run into a problem when we got back here uh, at the storage yard as far as having the trailer level out. It has one of those auto leveling systems on it, six point jacks. And for some reason, um, the zero setting had been out of calibration to where when we went to level it, it was completely kicked off to one side. It looked like the thing was gonna fall over. So there was a little bit of panic in both of us to fix the problem. Thank God for YouTube. YouTube had the answers. Uh, but anyway, I got a few packages when I got back to the house, so I'm going to go ahead and open them. And some of this stuff I have a feeling is from the weekend, because obviously when we're sitting around, I got a little bit of idle time, so I start... Uh, um, basically, I start uh, looking at things I can buy on the Internet. And so, that's what I did. Uh, this particular item, this is something for April, and I actually am going to hold on to it for a day or so and give it to her on Valentine's Day. So she doesn't know about that one. Shh. Make sure that's all that's in there. Good. This other box, kind of heavy. Um, I know I ordered a new compressor, and... You may ask, why a compressor? You have got to have at least five of them. And I do. But, uh, so I have a little one that I used to pump up my tires on my trailer, which require like 110 PSI. So they're heavy duty tires. So you need kind of a heavy duty compressor. Bought one of those ones from like uh, AutoZone or something like that. It was actually from the company Slime, which you would think is pretty reputable. And I have to admit, the first time I used it, it worked okay. This last time I used it, I was uh, running this thing while I'm trying to get ready. And it, I come back to this weird noise. And it's like dancing all over the ground. And it was basically shaking itself apart. Um, so I had to order another one. That's probably what this larger box is. What this box is, is... <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at this. So, this is, of all things, Calgon. You know, you remember the old commercial? Calgon, come take me away, right? Uh, yeah, so that's what that is. Ocean Breeze Bath Bead Moisturizers. And I'll tell you why in just one second. The other item with that was also Calgon, also Bath Pearls. So the story behind this is uh, I started doing some YouTubing on some of the RV uh, black tank treatments. And this one guy that comes on is pretty, pretty reputable as far as uh, black tank uh, treatment and how to flush them out because he has his own business and that's what he does and he recommended of all things to use calgon along with uh another item which hasn't showed up yet so i'm not going to name that and uh and water and you mix this all together and it makes the let's just put it this way the input area of your black tank smooth and silky Hence, everything kind of goes right on through when you go to flush. Uh, you know, you, sometimes you listen to the experts and you got to try and trust what they're telling you is true. So I ordered a few of these things because they actually said they were hard to find online. I had no problem. So we'll see how this works. I'm uh, very curious. Uh, so, yeah, there's something else that goes with that which has not shown yet. Calgon, take me away. <laughs> anyway, here's this last item. This is a rather large box, so 
I'm not even going to try to put it up on the table. And inside of it also has another box. Okay, well maybe I am going to do this. I was trying, not, I was trying to avoid doing any extra heavy duty work. But I don't think that's going to happen, right? That's me. Ah, damn, this thing's heavy. Ah. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is, what's it called? All tops, all top, four by four accessories. And what I was telling you is, I had to buy a little bit bigger, heavier duty compressor for the RV tires. Um, because the other one I was saying earlier shook to pieces. It was and it, pretty much gave up on it. And it wasn't our first. No. It's and, our, I, and I said that. I have had many compressors on this channel. Right. Turned out the one that saved my ass the most was that little Air Moto that portable crazy? compressor that I had. That's crazy. And I have bought a few of those on the channel. That thing worked like a champ. All Ugh. right. I see you've got the back beads and the... nice. We're gonna do our own. Do you tell them about what we're gonna do? I did. Yay. There's also something missing from that order. I know, so I'm just leaving that in the boxes right now. Okay, so this okay. is basically it. It's a dual stage compressor. God, there's three boxes here. Wow. Hey, baby. Ah. Yeah, okay. Holy shit. I'm tired now. Anyway, so, whew, got winded. Dual stage, uh, 12 volt compressor, works off of your battery, has 12 and a half feet, almost 12 feet of cable. No, actually, I think it's more than that. Anyway, 350 liter per minute, 1,203 feet square times whatever maximum 150 psi comes with accessories uh yeah i'm hoping this is gonna do it guys i'm tired of buying compressors um i was struggling i was trying to find a way that i could actually use uh one of my air tanks for my air guns to do it but it turns out that that's really not a safe way to do it um especially when you're dealing with as much pressure as those tanks hold 400 and what is it 4500 psi converting down to 110 psi that's a little sketchy so i didn't want to risk that especially on my rv uh that's an experiment I'm going to play with later. I will eventually figure out the right formula for that and come up with something really simple that I could just plug into my uh, air tank for my um, air guns and hook up to a valve stem and give it a quick shot of air and get my tires filled. Make it really simple. But in the meantime, I got to carry around heavy uh, pumps like this. Anyway, you know, it's kind of rambling on and there's a few things going on. What else do I have for you guys? I don't know. I'll have to share the rest with you when I get it. So, having said that, let me go ahead and end this with, uh, as I usually do, as always, have a great evening. Unless, of course, you've made other plans. As April would say, just don't make other plans. Uh, but till the next time, guys, peace out.